So what happens if you miss? Wrong number on 18. It's not even firm out here today. Sliced it. Uh, we're gonna go to the Hamptons. To the Hamptons. 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 Two hours and 18 minutes. I'm sure there will be no traffic. Chinook Hills, excited. We made the trip up to Long Island mostly to talk about energy drinks with Brennan Porath, but also to take a look at what the USGA has done with Shinnecock Hills and to see how the course is playing just a few weeks out from the US Open. I'm expecting to get absolutely ejected. You were peering it on the range. No, no, by some greens. So okay. And not, not green speed. I don't think it's going to be playing super fiery, I'm sure. A couple weeks out from the championship, but uh, what I love about courses like this is just missing in the wrong spots and getting absolutely just vaporized. That's since the 2004 U.S. Open, a restoration by Bill Corr and Ben Crenshaw had widened the fairways at Shinnecock Hills by a significant amount. The USGA narrowed the fairways again in 2017 for this U.S. Open, as this overhead image will show on the 14th and 15th holes. Wide looks in 2016, now you see in 2017 how the fescue cuts in on the right side of 14 and along both sides here on 15. All this is fairway. Still plenty of width. Yeah, just tighten, like legally. Didn't say lose weight. I might say tighten. Tight. Tighter. More trimming can be seen here along both sides of the par four third hole, the par four fourth hole, and again over this key bunker on the par five fifth hole. Tighter. As we move here to the 2017 images, you see the fescue cut-ins here along the left side on four, and again over this bunker on the par five fifth. Ten new tee boxes have been added, including one here on the par 5 fifth, which now plays across the ninth tee box here, this lengthy par 5. And again, here on the 16th hole, no tee box back here by this green. Boom, 2017, brand new tee box. All right, so here's our tee. It's pretty good, 512. Yeah. Good looking par 5. Let's go see the US Open tee. Seconds to get back here to the back table. We're looking at here about 615 or something like 285 that. 285 carry over those bunkers on the left, dead into this prevailing southwest wind. It's gonna be a no for me, sure. dog. Let's yeah, go back to let's go back to our team. Let's go back up here. 15T, the big boys. It's been a rough winter in the Northeast, and with that in mind, we were extremely impressed with the conditioning of the course. That being said, we were not surprised to see it playing much softer than we'll see it here during US Open Week. Told DJ not to go long here on five. Let's check in with him. Oh, oh, oh! Might not be this soft in a few weeks, but that was filthy. One of our favorite holes on the course was the par three seventh, the Redan hole, which ironically was the hole that became infamous at the 2004 U.S. Open. The USGA lost this green, and a lot of players ended up looking really silly because of it. Obviously, we took the chance to reenact one of the most memorable moments in Shinnecock Hills U.S. Open history. This is roughly the spot of Corey Pavin's forewood. I'm just gonna peel back a little eight iron in here real quick. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Beautifully struck there, right at the flag. This is a shot of his life. <laughs> Corey Pavin's got forewood, DJ Pie's got driver. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> also in the bunker with me. As difficult as the course was to play, and believe me, we left a few shots out there, we found it even more difficult to fully capture the scale of the property on camera. Thanks to the recent tree removal, the landscape is as wide open and windswept as it has ever been, and the land movements throughout the holes are dramatic. 
particularly here on the uphill shot into the ninth green, as well as the uphill approach into the 10th green. All right, the boys made a mess of the 16th. It's finally time to say it. Just got shinna cucked. With the course record still intact, the thirsty NLU boys walked away from Shinnecock Hills thoroughly impressed with the golf course and with a full appreciation for the challenge that the best players in the world will face at the U.S. Open. Special thanks to the USGA for the invitation to Media Day, and we look forward to seeing the course play firm and fast for the national championship on one of the best golf courses in the world. Singles? Doubles? We'll do doubles. Thanks. Kid loves his cheese.